Now let's move on to another example. So here we are given that 15 times cot A is equal to 8 and we have to find out sin A and sec A. Now we see that there is no mention of any triangle. So we can just assume that angle A is a part of any triangle. Let's say triangle ABC. Let's draw that triangle. Let's suppose this is the triangle and A is not the right angle. So it is suppose this angle. So A and let's assume that B was the right angle and C. Now we are given that 15 cot A is equal to 8 or cot A is equal to 8 by 15. Now we remember that cot A is equal to the adjacent side by the opposite side or the base by perpendicular. So perpendicular is the opposite side, adjacent side is the base. So cot A would be AB by BC and it is given as 8 by 15. If AB can be assumed as 8K, BC would take the value of 15K. So can we find out the value of AC? Yeah. Again use the Pythagoras theorem and we would have AC square as AB square plus BC square and we have assumed that AB is 8K so this would be 8K whole square plus 15K whole square. Now this would further be equal to 64K square plus 15 square is 225 into k square. On adding this, we would have 9, 8 and 2. So 289 k square. So we can see that AC square is 289 k square or AC is equal to k into under root 289 and we know that 289 is a square for 17. So this gives us AC as 17K. So let me just erase out this calculation for you. So we have AC as 17K. So if we go back to our figure here, we have this value as 17K, AB as 8K and BC as 15K. Now we can again find out all the ratios. Right, so sin A would be perpendicular by hypotenuse which is perpendicular would be the opposite side 15K by hypotenuse 17K. So we would have sin A as perpendicular by hypotenuse or 15K by 17K or just 15 by 17. And similarly, sec A would be hypotenuse by base and hypotenuse is 17K and base is 8K for angle A. Remember that we are finding out sec for angle A. So this would be 17K by 8K or just 17 by 8. If they would have asked us what was cot C or sin C then also we could have found that out because for angle C perpendicular would have been AB and the base would have been BC. Only just remember that and we can find out all the ratios. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.